Hello and welcome to this video. So in this video what we're going to do is we're going to add onto our data frame some more columns. At the moment we've got all the direction and the range and everything. What I'd like to do now is use this information that we've got here to actually define what the entry points are and the stop loss and take profit for all of our trades. So on baby pips if we have a look at the strategy let's take the buy signal. We place a buy stop order at the first candle's high plus 10% of its range. We place the stop loss at the high minus 20% of its range and the target at plus 80% and vice versa for a sell. Let's just go back to this diagram here. If we look at this pair of candles here where there's this buy trade, in our data frame remember this red one here is the current candle so we're going to be placing our buy stop at the previous candle's high plus 10% of its range, not the current candle's high plus 10%. Likewise the stop loss will be the minus 20% and the take profit at the plus. 80% always based on the price of the previous candle. One thing I did notice there was an update recently to this and the strategy has changed to use 40% uh, of the length of the candle rather than 20% as the stop loss. So we want to code in three new columns onto our data frame. Now there are a lot of ways to do this. I'm going for maybe not the most efficient way but what I think is the clearest way of doing things. So the first thing we're going to do is at the top of the cell with the direction and get signal inside is define three new variables in here. One of them is the stop loss which is the 40%, one of them is the take profit which is the 80% and one of them is the entry percentage which we're going to be using. And now we want to write three new functions to make use of these that we're going to then use to create our columns. So the first one is a function called get entry stop and takes in a row. And here we want to ask do we have a trade? So is the signal 1 or is it minus 1? And if it is, calculate the entry stop, otherwise just return 0. So we'll say if row.signal is equal to 1, then return the row.previous range multiplied by the entry percentage plus the row mid-high previous. Otherwise we can just copy that lot again, I don't always like doing it, and make it an else if. And then we can say we want to make row mid-low previous minus the range times the entry percent. Otherwise we'll return zero. So the next function we want to write is the get stop loss. So in this one we'll say def get stop loss and take in the row. And again, like previously, if row.signal is equal to one, then we'll return the row.mid high previous minus the row.range previous multiplied by the stop loss. Otherwise we will make the signal a minus one and then do the row mid low previous plus the range previous times the stop loss. So that should be fairly clear. So if we have a buy, then we're going to take the previous candles high and then subtract from that 80% of the, or 40%, sorry, of the candles range. I think that's what S loss is. Yes, it is. Otherwise, if we have a sell, then we're going to add on to the low of the previous candle, this 40% uh, of the range, because obviously we're going in the other direction. Otherwise, we can return zero. And now we need to calculate the take profit. So to do this, actually, I'm going to copy the get stop loss and just paste. This is always dangerous. Change the name to get take profit. And what we want to do is we want to take the mid high previous and we want to add on our range multiplied by the take profit. And here and the next one for the cell we want to do mid low previous minus and then our range multiplied again by the take profit. And executing that should give us the three functions that we need. So I'm just going to scroll back up because I'm not sure where I am in this notebook after a little bit of a break. So I'm just going to re-execute everything to reset all the data, re-execute these functions, get my columns all sorted and just make sure everything looks reasonably okay here it does. Okay so above the df.head here we can start adding in the code to create the new columns. So to do that and save a little bit of time I'm going to copy this signal one here and just paste this in three times and then we want entry stop loss and take profit and here I want get entry stop and here get stop loss and here get take profit. So executing that and it all seems to have worked so let's just do df head and see what we have on the side. And for the first one here we seem to have an entry of 112.8 this was a buy the take profit is a good deal higher that looks good and the stop loss is lower so that also looks good. Let's just have a quick look where we only have trades. So here we have a cell, let's have a look at this one. We enter at 11270 and then we take profit lower and we have a stop loss which is higher. So what I'd like to do in the next video, I'm a little conscious of time in this one, I'd like to update our candle plot so we can actually see the trades with the buy stop, sell stops and the stop losses and take profit levels. Now thanks very much for watching and see you in the next one.